So today's recipe is really cool because it's just really simple. Unlike some of my other recipes which require a bunch of weird ingredients or some, you know, fermentation, this recipe is dead simple. All it requires is milk, like a pot or a bowl, and a freezer, and that's it. And essentially, you're gonna be able to turn milk into liquid ice cream. But the real beauty of this is that it's not an innovation with the strawberries, it's an innovation with the milk. So you can flavor this however you want to. If you wanna make a chocolate version of this, go ahead. If you like that peanut butter milk video I made a few months ago, I mean, the world's your oyster. So enough talking, let's go ahead and start making this recipe. And first, let's actually start with the strawberries. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna need to do is actually chop up our strawberries. Now, I'm gonna be using fresh strawberries for this, so it's always a good idea to rinse them off to make sure there's no dirt or anything like that on them. And after that, it's just a matter of chopping these up into little tiny strawberry pieces. I always start by chopping off the top and then just kind of cutting it into smallish pieces. Now you wanna make sure first off that you don't cut yourself, but also you wanna make sure that pieces are somewhat uniform. And if you're wondering what I'm doing with the excess strawberry on the tops, well, let me tell you, they're really delicious. Now, one thing that really helps uh, in this process is actually having a really good knife for being able to chop these. And I have a pretty sweet knife here, which is the Nakano Suntoku knife, which is honestly a really sweet knife. It just feels really good in the hands and chops obviously really well. I mean, getting nice clean cuts with this thing. They were nice enough to send this knife to me and I'm really enjoying it. So if you're interested in getting a sweet knife like this for honestly not a bad price, you should check out the link in the description down below. All right, so now that we have our strawberries all kind of in little tiny strawberry pieces, the name of the game at this point is to get the strawberry juice out of the strawberries and get as much of that strawberry flavoring out of the strawberries as possible. And to help do this, we're gonna need some granulated sugar. Now the granulated sugar is not only gonna sweeten this up a little bit, which is gonna be good for this type of recipe, but additionally, the sharp jagged edges of the granulated sugar are gonna help rip up the edges of the cell walls and kind of get that juice out of the strawberries. Additionally, there's gonna be a process known as osmosis, which is basically gonna help pull the juice out of the strawberries. I'm adding about a quarter cup of granulated sugar to about two pounds of these chopped up strawberries. Once everything's kind of coated and we've got a nice little strawberry sugar thing going on, it's a matter of giving this kind of a light smashing. I'm using a pestle here, but a wooden spoon or one of those uh, potato mashers will also work really well here. Now, I accidentally made a mistake on filming, so I missed the shot where this turned into kind of this level of smash. So once we've given our strawberries a little pre-smash, it's just a matter of setting this off to the side for about 30 minutes and letting the sugar extract the juice from the berries. At which point we have this nice juicy strawberry mess and we're gonna need to strain off that juice. So I'm just gonna use a sieve here. And then additionally, it doesn't hurt to kind of just give a little bit more smashing in order to be able to extract more of that strawberry juice. Now doing this will mean you're gonna have seeds and stuff like that in there, but nobody's ever really complained too much, especially if it comes to the cost of having more of this stuff. Just collect all of this juice in a bowl and man, oh man, this stuff is delicious and looks really cool. Now you could probably use a blender or a food processor to make this process a little bit easier, but this is the way that I've always done it and I've always enjoyed how it's come out. So I don't know if I wanna mess with it too much. All right, now at this point, you could actually just pour this directly into milk and you'll get a pretty decent strawberry milk, although it's not gonna be very sweet. And in fact, if you have watched my older video where I made strawberry milk, I actually add some simple syrup to the sugar at some point just to kind of bolster the sweetness so that it's kind of on par with what you might get from the grocery store. However, for this recipe specifically, we're gonna be amplifying the natural sweetness of the milk, so it's not necessary to add extra sugar in at this point. Speaking of the milk, let's go ahead and move on to that step. Okay, so now that we have the strawberries done, it's time to actually make the milk. So what are we actually gonna do here? Essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna concentrate the milkiness inside of the milk. See, milk is really fat and sugar and protein, and it's all kind of suspended in water. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do something called freeze distillation, which is literally going to separate the water from the stuff that makes milk taste like milk and not like water. Now, I know freeze distillation sounds super difficult, but it's actually very simple. All we're gonna need to do is just freeze the milk and then just let it thaw. But we're gonna do it in a controlled way so that we're able to capture all of the milky essence that actually makes milk taste like milk. Now the cool thing is, milk is more than just fat. It also, as I said, has sugar. In fact, it has quite a bit of sugar. So when we do this, we're not gonna only be concentrating the fat and making something more creamy tasting. We're also gonna make something a lot sweeter. And that's where the magic of this recipe actually is. Let's go ahead and get started. Now freeze distillation couldn't be any easier. All we're gonna do is take a gallon of milk and we're gonna allow it to freeze solid overnight in our freezer. The next morning, we should be able to pull it out and 
just take off the cap, flip it upside down and place it into a pot. And basically what's gonna happen is it's gonna start thawing. We're gonna place this into the fridge and we're gonna let this thaw over basically a day. During this time, the ice and water, which basically dilute the flavor of the milk, are gonna kind of stay frozen. Whereas all the sugar, protein, and fat that basically make milk taste like milk are gonna melt. So what's gonna happen is that essentially we're gonna have an unwatered down milk. And basically we're concentrating all of the flavors that make milk taste like milk. Now the beauty of this recipe is the longer that you go for, the more of this concentrated milk you'll collect, but the more kind of diluted it will get. So really tasting it at multiple points, you're gonna be able to kind of get a sense of what level you actually want your milk to be concentrated to. I stopped mine after about a day, which basically yielded about two cups, or basically I've concentrated the milk by eight times. And let me tell you, this stuff is decadent. You can see that it's much thicker and it is very creamy, very sweet, and tastes absolutely delicious. Although I didn't get that much of it from my one gallon of milk, but I'm going for pure debauchery here. So that's where I'm gonna stop mine. However, feel free to let yours go for a little bit longer and you'll get more of the stuff itself. Although it might just be a little bit less sweet and a little bit less creamy. Now that we have our nice freeze distilled milky base, it's a matter of actually turning this into our strawberry milk. So to do this, just put in a little bit of your strawberry syrup. We're gonna add in our decadent concentrated milk and then I'm just gonna give this a stir. Now, as you can see, I've moved into a new studio and I actually don't have a spoon in the studio for some reason. So I tried to do this with a spatula and made a little bit of a mess. So hopefully when you're doing this, you have a spoon that you can use. Now that we have our nice looking strawberry milk, it's time for a taste test. Okay, so it's time for a taste test. Now I'm still setting up the new studio, so I don't actually have a spoon here, which is kind of crazy, but I think it kind of looks cool like this anyways. So let's see how it actually tastes though. Oh my God, that is so good. That is like liquid ice cream, strawberry shortcake. It is absolutely delicious. 1000% recommend making this. Even the freeze distilled milk part of this is really good. So highly recommend making this and it's not too hard. Uh, and hopefully you have a spoon so it might look a little bit better than mine does. Anyways, that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you could really help me out if you share this video with somebody else. All right, well, I think that's it for this week and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.